Namaskar, good morning everyone. My name is Sunita Rai. I am a CEO copywriter, WordPress lover, and a passionate learner, I would like to call myself. And I have contributed to WPAll.club, uh, Theme Grill, Access Press Themes, and multiple websites as a uh, freelancer, freelancer or copywriter. So uh, today, I feel profoundly privileged to be a part of awesome WordPress community and one of the speakers of uh, first ever WordCamp Catchment 2016. Thank you so much. So let me begin. Uh, <laughs> As a beginning note, here is a quote by Matt, who says, technology is best when it brings people together. And no doubt, we all are here together because of the very technology, WordPress. And the WordCamp is happening because of WordPress. And I think it needs no more explanation, so let me proceed. Uh, Google Lead. Uh, this is what I exactly said to my sister when she asked me how to create an impressive CV. And it's not only me, it's you and millions of other people across the globe who do Google. Or it's like uh, instead of using shirts, people are now, nowadays use Google. Means Google is replacing the verb search. It shows how popular Google is, right? So <clears throat> Google is getting even popular each day and every day because it has been updating its algorithm, it has been changing its algorithm time to time in order to make it more useful to the users. So look at the data, how popular Google is. You can simply uh, learn how popular Google is. 63,000 or more queries are processed by Google per second. Isn't that great? I think that's very huge. So. <laughs> Uh, the reason why Google is getting popular, more popular every day, can be linked with Google's mission. And that's, uh, <coughs> Google's mission is to organize world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Means it has always tried to keep the users at the focus. It has tried to update its algorithm time to time in order to make the Google search make the search engine more useful so that user queries are better understood or better processed. Uh, so it means Google is getting more popular every day also means that Google gets most of the traffic on the whole web. And no doubt it's the most popular search engine and probably the most popular website too, which, which means it is getting most of the traffic on the whole web. So, as the business owners, as the website owners, it means that Google can be, or Google is the major source of, uh, major source of traffic to your website as well. And that is why it's very necessary that you optimize your website so that it gets better ranks on the search engine, and this is how you get more traffic to your website. So uh, in order to put evidence to my previous statement, here is a, a study, here is a report. And according to it, <coughs> the first five results on Google get 67% uh, of the total click-throughs. And the first 10 results get 78% of the total click-throughs, which means that the first page, uh, the results that we pages that appear on the first page get most of the click-throughs, which means if your website does not rank on the first page, you are missing a huge number of traffic. So it's very necessary that you optimize your website for search engines. Okay, so how to optimize? What's next? So what's next? That's what I'm going to discuss. And that's obviously search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is improving your website's position on free or organic, uh, on free or organic search results. So the general idea of search engine optimization is when you have better ranks on the search engines, it means better traffic. You get better traffic and means more visitors come to your website. More visitors means also means more sales, more conversions. And when you have more conversions, that's obviously more revenue. And that's what probably the ultimate goal of your website. So there are actually various ways, various SEO techniques, various uh, ways, techniques you can optimize your website for shores engines, right? But 
I am going to discuss copywriting. So why copywriting? Because it is one of the most effective ways of search engine optimization, and as well as uh, the most important one for sustainable SEO. So <coughs> what is copywriting? Copywriting is simply an art of writing copy. So what copy is? Copy is a written content that can be published through online media or print media. It can be a piece of a paragraph or tagline or blog article or anything. It is a written content written with the purpose of marketing. The only thing that makes a copy different from any other kind of writing, any other kind of literature is it has a goal, it has a, pur uh, it has a purpose. It has a purpose of marketing or promoting something. That's what a copy is. So copywriting is important because it remains at the center of your overall SEO uh, campaigns. It remains at the center of your social media marketing strategies, as well as content marketing strategies, as well as the paid marketing campaigns. If you don't have a quality content, a great content, an impressive, a persuasive copy, you can simply uh, run successful campaigns of all these. You can promote your product properly. So copywriting is very important. So SEO copywriting, I just kept SEO and copywriting separately before. Now keeping them together, what does it mean? It means mainly two things, okay? So first is, <laughs> Making a copy, making your content SEO friendly, means making it technically sound so that search engine crawlers can easily index your copy, easily understand what your copy is about, right? And next is making it useful to the users. I already said we are focusing on Google because it's most popular. And so Google is focusing on the users because <clears throat> That is why you also have to focus on the users. So how to make it useful to the users? It has to be able to answer the user's queries. It has to tell them how to do something. They might be looking for some tutorial, some idea. Your copy has to be able to tell them how to do something, right? And uh, another thing, the only thing that makes a copy different from any other kind of writing is it has to be able to persuade. It has to be appealing, compelling. So. <clears throat> In order to make it source engine friendly, uh, from the technical point, there are some certain things you have to understand. They are like using proper keywords, headings, uh, images, and graphics, and using all tags and uh, meta tags, uh, title tags with the images. So how does a copy help you rank better on the source engines? It helps you rank. In, as you can see in the diagram there, if you have a quality content, People in your relatedness or your target audience may like it, right? So if they like your content, if they think that it's useful to them, they may happily share it on the social media, right? And besides, they may bookmark it. And there might be other people who have similar kind of blog, right? So they may give you backlinks or they may link your content on their websites. So that's getting genuine backlinks. And when your content is engaging, when it is being viral on the social media, and when it's getting genuine backlinks, this is how it. In, this is how you get trust, authority, and relevance in the eyes of the search engine crawlers. This is how it increases the trust to your website, and this is how you get better ranks. So, this is what I said. These are the simply I just uh, said what it is, how it should be. But, now I'm going to discuss what, how should we do? What are the steps? How, how, what, what are the steps? This is what I'm going to discuss next. So uh, today I'm uh, now next, what I'm going to say is that the steps simply that I follow, you may disagree with this, yet I think these are very useful. So the first one is understanding the product. Like I shared earlier, you are writing a copy, not a textbook, not an essay. Not, you are not just writing the answer in your examination hall so that it has to be long, it has to be lengthy, and so But you are writing a copy. It has to persuade, right? So it means nobody is compelled to read your copy. It's, they have a choice. So it has, you, you should create such a copy that's, that's easy to read, that's uh, good to understand, and so. So in order to write such kind of copy, 
you have to understand what you are writing about. The product, you, you must understand the overall aspects of your product. And as well as you must know what you are writing about, the topic. So if you are writing a, a product, uh, if you are writing a copy and a product, you must know what makes your product unique. What are the features and benefits that, your, uh, that the readers may get if they choose your product instead of the other competitor products, right? And <coughs> Besides you, besides, you must also know who you are selling to. If you know who you are selling to, the target audience, you can simply assume what can attract them, what, how you can just uh, reach out, and how you can just tell them that this is more useful to you, right? So <coughs> if you are selling a free theme, if you are writing a copy and free theme, maybe uh, business owners be your target audience, and maybe in build sliders and uh, gallery plugin, Uh, page builder support be the features and benefits that the users may uh, look for, and uh, maybe simple and easy to use. Maybe these are the basic things that every business owner look into a theme, right? So <laughs> next is keyword research. Uh, once you are uh, you're ready, what the, ready with the topic, what you are going to write, next thing you have to do is keyword research. There are actually various tools and various ways you can find the keywords, but I find Google itself a very useful tool. So simply type short in query or the uh, keyword on the Google. It shows a number of results, right? And the first three or first five results, you simply analyze what kind of keywords have they used. How, what's the, what's, the, uh, what's the number of keywords they have used in their article, in their copy, right? You can simply analyze and learn. And besides, below the top 10 results on the Google's uh, uh, result page, search engine result page, it shows you related search. You will find some phrases below it, right? So you can simply analyze, or you can simply use them as LSI keywords. So next is Google Keyword Planner. This is exactly used for <coughs> making better ads, advertisements, paid advertisements, yet it's very useful for a copywriter. So uh, simply you can type, uh, you can insert the keyword you might be, uh, you, might, you might write on, right? And it shows you the average monthly sources, the range of average monthly sources. So this simply gives you idea what people are exactly searching, typing on the Google, right? So with this, you can simply, uh, find a keyword for your copy. So when I am talking about keywords, there are mainly three kinds of keywords a copywriter has to know. First is focus keyword. That's the main keyword you are writing on. And next is uh, long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are the keywords, the phrases, which contain focus keyword, in which we add some suffixes or prefixes. Suppose the uh, focus keyword is uh, WooCommerce WordPress themes, maybe the long tail keywords be free responsive WooCommerce WordPress themes. So similarly, next uh, type of keyword you have to know is LSI keywords. That means Latin semantic indexing keywords. And Latin semantic indexing keywords are the keywords which have the similar meaning to the focus keyword, but <coughs> They are like synonymous words, okay? So in, instead of writing free WooCommerce WordPress themes time and again, you can simply write free WooCommerce WordPress templates, right? So that's LSI keywords. They are also very important because Google does not rank your website for keyword stuffing. You cannot aggressively use keyword time and again in the same copy. So next step is competitor analysis. I shared earlier, you are writing a copy, so users have a choice whether to read your copy or not. So in order to beat the competitors, in order to stand out of the crowd, you must know who your competitors are, and you, you must know what their strat strategies are and how you can do better than them, right? So in order to do that, there are various tools, and I find Google itself very important again. So as you simply type a keyword on Google, it shows you a number of results, and the first three are for sure the uh, core competitors for your core competitors for the keyword. So, with the help of Google and Mozbar together, Mozbar is a browser extension from Moz SEO, and simply you have this Mozbar and Google together and analyze. As you click on link analysis, there, it shows you. 
uh, it shows you who are giving backlinks to the Shodin page, which has got the top three ranks, which has, which has been successful to be ranked on the top three, right? So <clears throat> simply you can learn what kind of uh, web pages, what kind of people are giving backlinks, and you can try to build similar kinds of uh, links for your uh, web page as well. Uh, next is Botsumo. This is a website which shows most shared content on the social media. Social media marketing, social media networking is very important these days from marketing perspective, from SEO perspective, and from many perspectives because a lot of people, or there's not any people who does not, not any person, you will not find any person who does not use social media, right? So it's a great way of communicating these days. So you must focus on that too. So with the help of Bossumo, you can simply uh, insert uh, short in domain name or the short in keyword and it shows you the most shared content and with the help of this you can learn what kind of content is being most shared on the social media what kind of content is being viral what kind of content is being engaging so you can learn what kind of keywords are being used and so next is AHREFS this is basically an off-page SEO tool yet it's very helpful for the SEO copywriters so it has a many ways, many features and functions with which you can um, analyze your competitors, yet uh, you can analyze your competitors, yet uh, in order to know who your competing domains are, you can simply go to competing domains there, uh, competing domains there, and uh, <coughs> type your domain name or the keyword, and it shows you the number of core competitors, right? Uh, the web pages who are just competing in your same domain. And so you can just analyze them further. So next tip is writing better headlines. Uh, a copy has to have better headlines because headlines are the first thing that readers may see as they land on your web page, right? So in order to write better headlines, there is a tool that I use, Core Schedule Headline Analyzer. With the help of this, you can simply insert the headline you have created, and it just gives you the score. Okay? So as you can see there, it has got 67. It also suggests you how you can make it better. So you can use this. Next is outline your copy. Once you are done with keyword research, competitor analysis, and <clears throat> computer analysis, and uh, writing better headlines, next thing you have to do is outline, creating an outline of your copy in your mind. It's like creating the skeleton of your copy in your mind. You must know what you are going to write. You must have a clear concept. If you don't have, your copy may not just be, uh, it may be misleading. It, it, it may not get the goal it's intending to. So you must know what you are going to begin with and how you are going to conclude it. So now, get ready to write. So as you write, there are some certain things you must consider. And the first paragraph and first sentence is very important, like headline is. So the first paragraph should be able to tell the readers what your overall content is about. It has to be able to grab the reader's attention so that they may not skip. So you must uh, use simple words and short sentences. It's very important because you are writing for the users. So it has to be easy to understand for them. So <clears throat> while you are writing, grammar-proof writing is very important. And uh, I think it doesn't need more explanation. And in order to make your writing grammar-proof, you can use the tool Grammarly. This is simply a browser extension, which works uh, quite well with WordPress dashboard. So <clears throat> With the help of this, it analyzes wherever it analyzes your content, and wherever you have done some grammatical mistakes, it just uh, underlines with red. And as you click on correct with grammar, it shows you the correct alternative. Uh, once you are done with writing, now next thing you have to do is uh, design. A design of your copy has to be attractive, appealing, nice to the user's eyes, reader's eyes. So in order to do that, uh, you must be writing clear and short paragraphs again. And besides, uh, white space is very important. Your copy has, should have uh, enough white space. And using um, proper graphics and images, and as well as uh, 
A call to action buttons are also very important. So as you can see there on the uh, screen, so I have attached two different web pages. And first one has uh, images, uh, headings, call to actions. And second one is simply the text. And I think everyone does prefer the first one with all the good design. So next thing is, uh, before you publish, you must do content analysis and SEO check. And in order to do that, I find Yoast SEO very useful. And with the help of this, you can just, and it simply analyzes whether you're, you have used proper keywords, you have used uh, enough number of the keywords, and whether you have used meta description properly, whether you have set the permalinks properly or not. It simply checks. And also, it indicates whether your copy is SEO friendly. And it's there, as you can see, there are three indicators. One source, it's good. Another source, it's OK. Another source, it needs improvement. And so you can simply improve. Besides, it also checks readability also. From the readability perspective, it's easy to read or not. OK, once you are done with this all, now you have to, once you are done with writing and publishing, now you have to reach out to the people. You might have created a great content, but if you are not reaching out, it may just go for waste. So you must go and tell them that you have created a great content. So in order to do that, there are various ways and techniques. And for example, you can do social media marketing. You can just uh, go out to reach. You can go and do email marketing and so and uh, that's all, and these are the websites I closely started while preparing this slide, and I have to thank them, and thank you so much. Have any questions? <laughs>